Well, Knoxville is buzzing this weekend at the city's first Barber Expo. Barbers from all over the world are in town learning new techniques through workshops and seminars. 10 News reporter Katie Inman was at the expo and spoke to barbers who say an event like this is imperative in the ever-changing culture around cutting hair. Katie. Shannon, when you think of a barber, your mind probably goes to that iconic swirling red, white, and blue pole. Now, over the years, the take on the classic barber shop we know and love has evolved, but the artists I spoke to say it's for the better. We're leading that movement, but it's, it's really just getting started. Being a barber isn't what it used to be. The industry has advanced so fast. I mean, it's just exploding, um, and it really has ignited a passion in young barbers. The Tennessee Barber Expo hopes to shine a light on the industry's past while showing off new techniques. We really love the history of it, but it's also been stagnant for quite so long because people don't understand how big of an industry it really is. Some veteran barbers have watched the highs and lows. It's quote unquote popular to be a barber. You know, it's a trendy thing. But no, the focus is still on the client, not the fat. It's one of those things that no matter what phase it's in, it's always going to stray back to the mean. So why are more young people trimming their way into the biz? Chris Bossio says it's simple, independence. And the idea that you can have fun in the barbershop, doing what you love doing, make a living doing it, I mean, that's attractive for a lot of young people. The younger generation is taking notes of what the classic barbershop has done for years and adding their own spin. They like their way and they're, they're great with that, but I also think that the new generation of barbers really appreciate what they do too. He says the older generation shaved the way but barbering is a profession that will never go out of style. It's endless opportunity. Everyone needs a haircut. There's way too many people who grow hair and not enough barbers. Organizers at the expo tell me they're planning to make this an annual event in Knoxville and are excited to see how much bigger and better it'll be in the years to come. Shannon.